I mean, like everybody was uh, making jokes uh, before they see what you can do. Yeah. But everybody trying to get some, like, you know, the pretty girl or something sure. to the to yeah. little sexy, but the right. That was that time. Yeah. They tried to use you, like of take course, photos yeah. of you. Or yeah. Something like oh, this. that's gross. What? What? <laughs> it is gross, really. You don't I feel mean, like you a narcissist. You feel like. Uh, I don't know, piece of meat or yeah, something. Yeah, right, right, right. And uh, my Instagram started to growing. Like, everybody was thinking that I am a model, and I wasn't a model. And I stopped posting my pictures. I started to posting more tattoos so people can see that I'm an artist because I was so mad that people like, oh, you're so pretty. Right, right. You wanted to show me you could do like, more than that. Seriously, just look at my art. And I change it. Now, when I post pictures with me, my followers like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm changing too. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us on today's episode of Unemployable Podcast. Today we have Pony Wave with us. another familiar face pony lawson <laughs> thanks for joining us today guys that was pretty smooth yeah not too bad the episode of the ponies <laughs> right <laughs> there we go two ponies one cam wow. that could be a whole patreon <laughs> <laughs> were you late this morning i was late yes What's the excuse this one this time no it was just terrible morning yeah, yeah. it was terrible there's no sleep last night same with me. Yeah. No sleep? Like three hours of sleeping, yeah. What do you what do you usually need to function? How many hours? Like eight to nine. Eight you to know, nine. like women sleep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the beauty sleep. It's yeah, needed. beauty sleep, yeah. What no about? beauty sleep for me today. <laughs> <laughs> me neither. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Feeling rough. Rough ride. Yeah. <laughs> well, how many hours do you need? Mm, six. six. Don't be late. Six hours? <laughs> yeah. Every day. <laughs> And you feel fine? Mm -hmm. Wow. I can, like, squeeze by with six. That's because yeah. you're, like, seven years old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can get away with, like, four or five sometimes. Dude, I miss that, dog. Yeah. I used to be able to do whatever I want the <laughs> night before at, like, four or five in the morning. And I could at least get one day. I might have to catch it the next night. Yeah. So once in a while, I could do a whole convention with... A f you know, an hour or two here and there. Yeah, but that Tuesday when you get back is rough. Yeah, you're cranky. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're mean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That was like the last convention for me, Alex and Adrian. It's probably like two, three hours a night maybe. Like a total of six hours all weekend maybe. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. we just did a convention with the, the children and uh, <laughs> they, you know, maybe like midnight or one. Mm -hmm. Be like in the hotel bar, I'd be like, Good night, guys. See you later. And they're like, we're going out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yo, bro. And this is like Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> we can even start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're getting tattooed at three in the morning yeah. and then going and ripping tats the whole next day. Yeah. Right. And they wonder why they're not getting better at tattooing. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we have a bunch of guests here tonight. Yeah. Some may say double the usual amount. Is it the first time, like, two, two guests? No, we've had, like, we've done, first like, First time, four. two ponies. Two ponies, yeah. <laughs> Probably first and only. The only time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've done, like, the four format. Go ahead, Cam. Start us off. No pressure. How, is there, how, how was travels? How was traveling? How was it getting down here? Nice stuff. How was what? How was traveling? Traveling? How was, yeah. Like, how was it here? Yeah. Um, good. It's a really short trip, so, yeah. I'm leaving tomorrow evening. It's good, yeah. Florida is so warm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sick. is this your first time here? <laughs> um, no, I've been in Miami about like maybe <sighs> five years ago. The last yeah. time, yeah, mm. I've been like two times. So. Yeah, it's a little calmer up here. We try to stay away from Miami. Why? Floridians don't like Miami. 
Yeah. Well, it's like busy. It's like busy city. You try yeah. to not go if you don't have to. Yeah, and it's party city, right? Yeah, so it's yeah. always loud. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's no different. I feel like than any major city. Maybe Chicago is, can even feel like that. No, I've never been to Miami. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> uh, like New York, like so L.A. It's almost like once you're there, you want to like stay in there. Mm -hmm. But if you're like outside, it's like uh, try to avoid. Yeah, it if you're like going yeah. in there and leaving the same. It has day, to be it like sucks. really good. Yeah. Like, if I'm going to Miami, it must be, like, a really cool thing, <laughs> yeah. you know? There's got to be a benefit to going there. Right. Yeah. I feel the same with Hollywood. I live closer to the ocean yeah. in Los Angeles, and it should be something really interesting if I go to, like, Valley or Hollywood, because, like, no, 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 Los Angeles, not for me. I like yeah. California, but not Los Angeles. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was the same. I lived in the valley for a couple of years, and I was like, you couldn't get me to leave the valley, like, to go anywhere. I was like, if it's not in here, I don't want any part of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I feel the difference between Miami and here, because Miami, yeah, it is loud. That's why the last time <laughs> I've been here, like, for five years ago. But here, I like it. It it's feels more like relaxed. more European style or something. Yeah. Yeah, it's cozy. So, yeah, like it's a little more laid back, a little more residential. Yeah. Yeah, which is funny because when we uh, initially picked the spot for the shop, mm -hmm. this shop, um, I had a partner at the time, and he was like, where do you want to put the shop? And I said, anywhere except Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> really? Why? I don't know, because I'd never been there. And, oh, like, okay. if I'm, I'm someone that, like, if I don't know it, I just choose to not like it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Some people are more positive. Yeah. <laughs> And more optimistic, but, it, you know, it's like people. Like, if I don't know a person, I'm like, yeah, I probably don't like them. Yeah. Because <laughs> if I did, I'd know them by now. <laughs> but, no, we ended up here. I love it. It's exactly what you said. It's almost like that, that middle ground because we were a little more north before, mm -hmm. which I feel like was even quieter. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a mix of the two. You know, you get, you get people traveling, you get people visiting, yeah. but it's not like the craziness of Miami. But again, I haven't seen like everything. Right. But what yeah, I've yeah. seen already, I like it. I like the boats and like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the one thing you told me you wanted to see yesterday? The one thing you wanted to see. Oh yesterday. yeah, I want to go to see alligators. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's yeah. inland. <laughs> Is it close by? Uh, about like I'd say we go like thirty yeah, minutes west. You'd probably get some alligators. Yeah. I want to. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, saw few, I saw a few yeah. yesterday, yeah. man. When do you leave? Uh, tomorrow in the evening. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I guess we got the hookup now. Because we had a bunch of... We've had a few guests ask for that. So we're like, all right, we got to get the hookup on the gators. <laughs> <laughs> we got to figure this out. Is it the, the boat is big? So how many people? It's, so it's, an, it's an we air have boat. To choose which one is going, right? All right, we'll be back, Cam. We promise. <laughs> <laughs> You're not missing much. They just sit there and do nothing. They're just big lizards. Yeah, that's it. I haven't seen them. I want to they see are, at It's least like a one. dinosaur. It is kind of cool, though. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's not me and Ryan cool were freaking out. We saw those. Uh, what, iguanas? Well, I don't know what they are. Oh, yeah. But they were like this big. Yeah, we were like, big. what? Oh, my God. This is crazy. You know? like, <laughs> right here in the street? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you <got> dinosaurs, dude? <laughs> so alligators are smaller than crocodiles or bigger? Smaller. I oh, actually okay. have no idea. Yeah, anything in the Florida Jersey. Everglades, I just don't know. It's just. You're from here, bro. So yeah, alligators don't teach can eat you like full, like full body? Oh, they can. Okay. <laughs> what? Yeah, they've Good like. They've, they've not one hit. I think no, you got to worry about, like... I think one hit. <laughs> it's bite size. <laughs> you got to worry about them pythons, dude. Yeah? They fucking swallow people whole. You got those Remember the one they had, to, they had... They cut a human out of one, like, a couple months ago? Like, a six-foot male yeah. just in a oh, fucking wow. snake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there was another snake that swallowed a whole alligator. Dude, the pythons are crazy. That's nuts. Yeah. I, the, the the snake choked to death, and they had to cut the alligator out of Jeez. it. Jeez. No, it was dead, too. <laughs> <laughs> Suicide murder. lose, lose. Yes. How often do you check gator news? Yeah, I follow this one account, just 
just no calling Florida man. Late every goddamn podcast. <laughs> Looking at Florida news. <laughs> I gotta bring something to the table this morning. Yeah. <laughs> Alligator snake. Yeah, there's an Instagram page. It's just called Florida Man. You'll I see some pretty sick stuff on there. Right. Yeah. You're just looking for your dad out there. <laughs> <laughs> Local crackheads, stuff like yeah. that. You know. <laughs> Yeah, it's just Tyler. Leaves Nolan. door open again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Nice, Cam. You're doing good. Good job running oh, this episode. No, never. All right, so everyone's due. Yeah. Settled. <laughs> Settled. We got to do it. So you've seen many of them? Oh, yeah. 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 Alligator Alley. Yeah, we don't got no fucking sharks called, down here. Wait, it's called Shark Valley? Yeah. Where is this? The Everglades. You rent bikes uh, and you just okay. go down this one long strip, but there's alligators that, like, I guess they feed often because they're, like, docile. They don't do anything. Like, kids are walking up to yeah, them. Yeah, they just which, kind of vibe. I wouldn't be doing that shit. Like, you see a kid get, like, two feet away, I'm like... Mm. I just want to pet the, the, the puppy. Yeah, <laughs> but they're literally all over the street. You just, like, bike down. So nice. You seen that kid on TikTok fishing Garrett? In uh, he just walks around the Everglades barefoot in like Look at him pets to creep up alligators and calls them puppies and stuff. Uh, and like he just like so his like his whole TikTok he's like on this hunt for like a thirty foot python. The but he's just ones? in yeah he's just in the Everglades pitch black at night no shoot barefoot in like knee deep swamp. Hmm. Yeah. How old is he? Oh, he's like my age. He's like twenty two something. He's just a kid that just runs around the Everglades. For an hour. He's like my my generation's <laughs> like Steve Irwin. <laughs> he's like he'll be he'll see like a fucking ten foot alligator and be like, look at this little pup. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well I want I want the the pony wave story. So I want to start it from the beginning. <laughs> like beginning, beginning, like from yeah. the day one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what hospital? <laughs> no. The uh, when did uh, you start tattooing? How many years you been tattooing? Um, I believe like thirteen. Thirteen 12, years. 12, yeah, because I had like some breaks with the uh, broken arms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those don't count because you would be. Yeah. Unless it was like a year. No, I mean like it's it not counts. long period of breaking like arms. Like it's just like I broke my arm. Take like a month and start to drink with a cast like <laughs> again. So I like, think like uh, <laughs> like when SpongeBob tries to keep jellyfish yeah, in front of the <laughs> firmly <laughs> grasping <laughs> in your hand. It's kind of like that. I broke like my left arm, so like the cast was like from here, the fully covered this uh, thumb and um, like to here. I just bought the. Um, Gloves, bigger size, so okay. I can put it on. Yeah. And I just feel like stretching the skin like with this finger, like this. And every client asks me, are you sure you're okay? I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm okay. Yeah, I can't wait like three months without tattooing. Yeah. Would have been like, what, you've never seen dedication before? <laughs> <laughs> How'd you break your arms? Uh, first one was uh, skateboarding. Nice. And wasn't so nice. <laughs> I, I wasn't, I wasn't cool. good. <laughs> and the second time, Shh. snowboarding. Again, not, not yeah. nice. <laughs> Gnarly. If it would be nice, I would be safe. <laughs> yeah. And just like with the snowboarding, it's a really stupid story because I wasn't snowboarding like a normal person on your like legs. I was snowboarding like when you're sitting. Like oh, <laughs> <laughs> and that was the uh, trampolines like everywhere because there was like professional, you know, like snowboarding place. Okay. And I was sliding and the last time I was sliding, the last thing I remember that my glasses like just like, flew away and that's all. And I woke up like laying down, everybody like oh, staring at me. Oh, you were knocked out? Yeah, because wow. I was flew from the... Um, like Trump flying, like the ramp? this, yeah. the ramp, yeah. yeah. I was flying and I was ended up with a, another one, like, oh, like Jesus this, yeah. yeah. And Wasted. it was like, <laughs> right. And everybody was staring at me, like quiet, because they thought that I'm dead or <laughs> broke my like spine. And I woke up, I'm like, and I just saw that something happened, and I'm like, don't be stupid, call someone. And like, <laughs> like, <don't> like <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. 
mean, terrible. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> terrible, terrible, terrible. Could have yeah. been something, you know, not as exciting. Right. So, so you were asking, like, how long I'm tattooing? I'm yeah. telling you. Did you start <laughs> tattooing before you were pro snowboarder? <laughs> before. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I've so had these problems before. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, actually, I started because um, I was planning to do the, you know, the aerography on the cars. Uh, what is it? Aerography? How does it called? Like, um, no, no, no. It's like spray painting on the cars. Okay. Oh. Yeah, not graffiti, like but pinstriping and stuff. It's like, um, how does it call this? Nips. You might be saying it right. Airbrush. Um, airbrush, yeah. yeah. I think it's oh, just yeah. airbrushing on cool. cars. I was planning to do that. How old are you? Uh, hmm. I've been in university, so I think like 20. Nice. I think so. And one guy who did my first tattoo, uh, like really tiny one, he came up uh, to my university because we had an exhibition. And he saw my works and he asked me... Uh, what are you planning to do? And I said that airbrushing. And he's like, mm, okay. And about like six months after, I came to his shop. I said, I want to start tattooing. He was so happy. He's like, yeah, I can teach you everything. Nice. He thought he lost you to the airbrush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. He thought like, not good. No, 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 no. I need to save this world like from this girl. Like, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, he teach me... Um, a lot and just sitting and watching how he's tattooing and sometimes asking some questions so he doesn't like show exactly what i should do i just watching yeah. and then when i started tattooing i did my first tattoo was like this big whoa Damn. Damn. Like, yeah. so you started small <laughs> right. <laughs> How, like from when you started small? to when you did that first uh tiny tattoo how much time had gone by uh, from my tattoo? Yeah. Um, like your apprenticeship, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like day one, he's like, thank God you're not airbrushing. And then you said you were watching, right? Yes. And then how long uh, until you started tattooing? I think okay. a year. Okay, cool. Yeah. So a lot of like learning, being patient, being comfortable, yeah. learning how to be at the shop, asking questions. And at the same time, I've been in an art university. So I've True. been drawing all my life yeah. and I was studying uh, like the, I've been in the art school and then university. So like, every day drawing, painting, watching like how like my um, master are working. So right. Yeah. And then I started when I bought my first machine because I probably didn't have enough money to buy it. So that's why I didn't start. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it took yeah. me one year <laughs> to save <Yeah>. money. <laughs> yeah. No, that's cool though. And you bought the machine. Yeah, I bought two. Yeah, just it means something different when I feel like when you buy it, you know, like when I bought my first machine, it was probably the most precious thing I had in my True. whole life, True. you know, yeah. and like I protected it and whatever. It's yeah. different, you know, yeah. and then how was that first tattoo? Uh, that was, it wasn't bad. It wasn't good. Okay. And the tattoo was this big and it was really complicated there was a man under the water hugging um how does it call um calamar uh, no not octopus squid squid yeah squid and octopus like around and some flowers right. so it's like too many details for the first tattoo yeah. and i did it for my uh ex-boyfriend and he lives here in America too, so I can see my first tattoo like almost. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> and so, it's not covered, so, so it's still this there. big. What made you want to go that big? Because he asked me to do this. He's like, oh. "No, you're so good. Like, let's do something <laughs> like not not stupid. Let's do something bigger." And I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> Was that in Russia? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How long were you tattooing in Russia for? Uh, let's see. I moved 10 years ago and I started like 13. So gotcha, three. I, I would say like two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would say around like two, two years. Yeah. yeah. Because it's almost 11 years I moved. Yeah. So it was two years in Russia? See. Mm -hmm. See. Da. And da. then here. Da. Multilingual here. 
Oui. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, sorry, I just got distracted by all them. Fritz. <laughs> Can you lock that door? No. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, when did you come to U.S.? Um, the first time I came in 2010, just for work and travel program, just for one month, right. and I left. Uh, and what were you doing on the trip with the work and travel? Temporary tattoos. That was before I started tattooing. Okay. Yeah. And the funny that I wasn't planning to do tattoos, and I found a job on a broad bulk um, with the henna tattoos. Yeah. And I'm like, hmm, that's what I can do. And I did it. And when I came back to Russia, I started to learn tattooing. Nice. Which is weird, yeah. yeah. And so then I came back that. here in 2013. Right. Yeah, and start my career here as a tattoo artist. That's weird. Yeah. After the first time coming and you came home, did you know you wanted to go back? Yes. Yeah, you're like, okay, I'm going to make this a goal. Yeah, that's why I, I left so uh, early, because I can stay here for longer, for almost four months. But I decided to came back and uh, planning my like future and planning to move here. Right. Mm -hmm. And then, so when you came over here, you said 2013, mm -hmm. where you, you were tattooing? Um, I was tattooing in uh, Russia, and I came here with my tattoo machines with yeah. me, yeah, of course. Um, Can't leave those behind. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. They cost money. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I, I didn't have enough money with me and enough, um, like, supplies, nothing. I, right. I used, uh, like, I lived, when I moved, I lived in the car for about, like, a month or so. When you first got here? No, uh, the second time. The second time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I right. didn't have an apartment because you cannot rent an apartment without the credit history and yeah. everything. You have to find a room. And I didn't have enough money to leave, rent a room, so I lived uh, with my friend in the car, in a small, like, um, how does it go, this car, Chevy. Chevy? Chevy. Chevy. Che yeah, yeah, Chevy, yeah. Not a bad choice. Uh, <laughs> you know, that's yeah. funny, I did the same thing, but I was in an Aztec, so it was, I mean. Aztec? Yeah, Pontiac Aztec. I was in, a, I don't even want to say it. It was a Kia. Yeah. <laughs> Kia boys out here. So you came over, you had friends here, or just one friend? Uh, a friend, yeah. yeah. So he used to be uh, my boyfriend. So uh, he met me here, and uh, I didn't have a place where yeah. to live. And he had uh, a car and didn't have a place where to live because he just uh, came back from the uh, immigration... Um, how does it go? To the huh? Prison. <laughs> oh. <laughs> immigration prison, yeah. Wait, wait, hold on, real quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a long story. It's a good story. Yeah. So, what was the plan when you came over here? Nothing, nothing. Fuck it? <laughs> you, got, you got your machines? You know, like, like follow, follow your dreams. Yeah, fuck yeah. I, I was that. like, to be honest, living in the car and wake up every like morning at 5 a.m. because it's so cold. Yeah. It was January, it was so cold. What city were you in? Los Angeles. Okay, okay. Um, and wake up every morning at 5 a.m. and see Los Angeles, you being like, yeah. like cold and no place where to live, but I was so happy. I, I was feeling like this is my place, where I should be. So it wasn't scary, it wasn't bad. I don't feel any like, bad emotions to remember that because I just, I was following my dreams. Yeah, that's sick. I love stories like that. Cam, you should spend a week in your car. <laughs> it's fire, dude. To feel it like fully, right. move to another uh, country where you can like speak language at all. Yeah. You don't know anybody, and live in a car. Yeah. Like that. Right. <laughs> Or like Spend just move like that. out of your mom's house. <laughs> 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 not living with your mom unless you not there. I can't even write. <laughs> so, you, don't, you don't have to bring up all the reasons to me. So uh, I'm kind of interested by you. Yeah, yeah, I'm so, 
you're in the car, and you, you have one friend, how's the English at this point? Nothing. Nothing. Perfect. I haven't speak for almost a year, not only because I didn't have enough of knowledge of language, it's because I was so scared. I was so scared to start talking. Whoa. It's like language barrier is not only when you don't know like words or how to say this or that. It's also because you don't want to look stupid. Yeah. And it's it's scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what if I get into a conversation too deep? But I'm more like, you're like oh, I don't know anything past that. I was just saying hi, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I totally understand that. <laughs> so what happened from there? Mm, then uh, we found the room uh, to rent. And then I start to go to different tattoo shops to ask. I got my uh, work permit. Yeah. So I can go and ask for work. And I found a tattoo shop, really small one, you know, like a basic tattoo yeah, shop. Yeah, like street shop. Yeah. Uh, and I start working there. Uh, so the owner, he was giving me uh, like the small tattoos only. Right. He saw my work and I already did like color, like bigger pieces. And he saw my work and he understood that I can do something better. Right but he preferred to take all the good projects to himself. And give me something he doesn't want to do. Sure. Yeah. And then before, I mean, you said you found a room to rent. Mm -hmm. Did you have a, a job beforehand or did you go right to tattooing? Uh, no. Um, I always was thinking that if I start to work somewhere not close to the art, I can stuck there and I'm not going to be growing. Yeah. So because you stuck with the money, comfort zone, I always was thinking that it's better um, I'll go through this stress, but I'm going to keep growing as an artist and then I will get uh, something I was like wishing for. Um, so I was waiting. I did some projects uh, like... Um, Freelance, I did uh, like CD covers oh, cool. uh, and something like uh, like for the small money, you know. Like right, whatever, yeah. whatever people wanted, al mm -hmm. album covers, yeah. yeah, totally. I was asked to go for work, like uh, to do like some photos in restaurants. Yeah, and I said I can't do that. I know I can't be stuck there and like uh, modeling. Not modeling. Uh, I mean, like, to photographer, uh, to photograph other people in restaurant to sell oh, them gotcha. pictures. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, I'm surprised Cam made it out of Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> uh, remember the <laughs> comfort zone of that? Both of us. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dunkin? Me yeah. Too. Me really? The, the, the three of us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. What yeah. did you do? Have you noticed that it's declined since 2010? When you left? That's when I left. Yeah. yeah. I made the coffee. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I had the uh, morning shift. Mm. I think I was 17. And uh, I would go in at 4.30 in the morning. <sighs> yeah, it was rough. Oh, wow. <laughs> For how long? Uh, I think they fired me after a couple months. <laughs> Yeah. Why? Because I would do academy in there. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for bringing that up. Because yeah. <laughs> they had video footage of me on the floor. <laughs> you were tattooing that time? No, I no? wish. I wish. I just um, picture him drooling in the coffee. <laughs> His manager's like, John, no, no. I, I was like on the floor, but my neck was like propped up. Because I remember, because I was stuck there for a while. <laughs> when I came I up, up, my neck hurt so so bad, bro. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> These <Yeah>. demons. <laughs> the boss walks in. Man, you need an espresso shot, dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> the uh, yeah, I hated like every job before tattooing. You know, I just kind of knew that I wanted to tattoo, and kind of like you said, everything that wasn't tattooing felt like a waste of time. Yeah. Right. So why you were waiting? 
Why? Uh, because I was too young. Like the people didn't really. I started hitting shops at sixteen, mm-hmm. and they were kind of all like, "Wait till you're eighteen." I see. You know, and um, so I was just kind of making do, and then around that time as well, I, you know, I feel like parents kind of want you to start making your own money and and showing your at least an attempt at independence. Mm -hmm. So it was just like, you know, whatever. If I had a job, they kind of left me alone. If I didn't, they bothered me. Mm -hmm. But so you're at this first shop doing the smaller tattoos, Mm -hmm. maybe the things uh, your mentor said maybe he didn't want to do. Yeah. Uh, what, What was that experience like? Were you happy to be tattooing? Did you have that gratitude to still be in um, Los Angeles? I was a little bit mad because um, <laughs> I know I can do better yeah. and I want to grow. But that time I already started to do my Instagram. So Instagram helped me to find my own clients. Nice. Yeah. So they start to asking me for things I want to do. So I start to come to the shop only for my appointments. Yeah. Yeah, and so like, no, I can't be today. I have an appointment tomorrow, so I'll be here yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> I love that. So you're in a situation that you didn't really like, mm-hmm. so you fucking did something about it. Yeah. You're like, all right, I'll get my own clients. Yeah. I'm going to do the work that I want to do. Yeah, well, ha- my happiness is in my arms, so I have to fix right. it. Don't be mad on other people. Right. And then how often were you tattooing? How many At that time? A, yeah, like how many days a week? I uh, don't remember. All yeah. Right. I don't know. Again, I didn't have a lot of clients yeah. at that time. But I grew for a year. I grew really fast for like first year. I started working more often, like maybe three days in a week. Yeah. yeah. That was good for me because I just moved. Yeah. It's a lot in the beginning. Like a tattoo, I feel like. Um, Meaning not a lot. Not I, a lot? I used to work uh, more in Russia. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I guess that's true. You had that experience. For me, and maybe, maybe you guys as well, like those first tattoos, even if it was small, it took like a whole day's worth of emotion. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'd be fucking nervous. I'd be like, well, like it's coming like an hour before. I'd be like, no one talk to me. My appointment's <laughs> about to be here. You know? It's like, bro, you got an hour. Gotta get in the zone. <laughs> yeah, You're doing a silhouette. Right. I'm doing, I'm like printing out a hundred different sizes, you know? Yeah. Like a millimeter off Right. It's like the other. first time someone comes to your house. You're like, everything's got to be ready. <laughs> you know? Or no, it was super easy for you. You were like, chill about it. Oh, I don't know. I mean, even the, like the first tattoo I did at a shop, I was super nervous. I didn't want anybody watching me or anything like that. I was shaking. I was like, oh, shit, like somebody's standing above me. Yeah. But uh, there was some kind of confidence because I was tattooing out of my house for two and a half years before I got in there. Yeah. So I thought I was ready. But yeah, I mean, same shit. It's just like you're printing out, like you said, a whole page full of different sizes, just all like yeah. different options, trying to give them to make them happy. But uh, yeah, I mean. What about the first couple in the house? Oh, man, they disappeared. <laughs> like, the tattoos didn't stick around for very long because I didn't know to use a rubber band on my coil machine. I didn't either. So the needle was yeah. just bouncing around, and I'm just, it's, I'm taking, like, three hours on a tattoo that should have taken 20 minutes, you know? And then I'd see it later, and it's almost gone. I'm like, well, <laughs> better luck next time. Were you nervous, or was it a little bit more confidence in the house? No, I think there was more confidence in the house. It wasn't as nervous. I well, mean, not pressure. Yeah, they, yeah, there was no pressure. It was just me. I mean, they agreed to get tattooed in the house, so I was like, they don't give a <laughs> shit. Yeah. Mean God, baby. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I used to tattoo like that too in Russia, yeah. like at, in my apartment, and I used to live with my parents. So they understood that I'm tattooing, but I didn't have any equipment like... Uh, I don't know, the tattooing tables, chair, yeah, yeah. massage oh, table yeah. or something. I was tattooing, uh, do you know this um, couch, like the small couch, and it can be like turned into a bed? Yeah. And it was broken, so it was like always moving like that. And I was tattooing on this bed. Hilarious. <laughs> yeah. I remember sitting in a windowsill once, you know, had somebody lean over in front of me, and I'm just like, <laughs> well yeah that's why if you're gonna scratch you gotta do it when you're young because you're yeah. still made of rubber you can figure yeah. it out you know <laughs> but it's funny because like 
We'll talk so much shit about scratchers, but pretty much everyone we've had on here started something like that, you know? <laughs> but also the opportunities were different. Right, 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 right. right. Yeah, yeah, I don't know about you, but like I, there was no shop within like a 30 mile radius. The only one was uh, that bully guy that I talked about on the last episode. So it's yeah. like I wasn't walking in there. It was intimidating yeah. as shit. Yeah, I was about to say, I could just hop on Google and be like, 10 years tattoo shops, you know? Uh, hey, yep. Siri. <laughs> <laughs> Where's John <Sean> Elson? <laughs> yeah, right. We know we know we were your third choice. For real. <laughs> Have you ever tattooed at home? No. Yeah, I wish I did. I'm like missing out on it, man. <laughs> you can go ahead. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. Got a little off track there. Cam, Cam keeps trying to make this about him. I'm sorry. Yeah. So you're taking your own clients now. You're getting the experience. Mm -hmm. in this first shop mm -hmm. uh, in the U.S., and then you are you, you have your own place. You're out of the car, right? Uh, yes. So you're making money moves. The uh, How long did that continue at the first shop, or where did it progress from there? I think it wasn't long, like a year maybe, and then I moved to another studio. I changed probably like five studios. Why do you think you were changing? Um... To be honest, I'm not really um, the person who can follow the rules. Oh, you're a troublemaker. Uh, I'm not a troublemaker. I'm just Listen, love I get freedom. It. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> That's how I you call it. You love freedom, it. you said? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just yeah, I can't nice be I can't be <laughs> at this like shop from 9 to 6 or whatever. Yeah. I want to to do my art like I feel it. Right. So <laughs> not every shop can agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. So. Would you let them know? Like you left the first shop. When you got to the second shop, did you say like, hey, I, I don't follow the rules? <laughs> <laughs> um, let me. Or I'll put it a different way. No, I mean, like, I'm trying to remember. Oh, okay. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, but they probably always found out, like, really easily and yeah. fast, yeah. maybe the next day or something. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, she's supposed to start today. <laughs> she? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I can't follow the rules for two days, and after that, nice. I'm like, I'm an artist. I I'm independent. Like that. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like those first couple shops, I would just tell them whatever I thought they wanted to hear mm -hmm. so I could get in. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, yeah, I just, yeah. like, didn't... You're like, I, I just need to be here. I need a tattoo. I'll fucking lie to you. I'll manipulate whatever. I'll be the <laughs> best employee for two days. You know, you'll see. How long have you been tattooing? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like they, they were okay with that just because at that time, Almost every shop was trying to get a girl yeah. in the studios because it, it wasn't like a lot of female artists and everybody's trying to get a pretty girl like to, right. to the shop. So I think this is the reason. That's wild. I feel like nobody wanted to hire a girl when I first started in the shop. Really? Oh, yeah. They were like, girl, well, girls don't tattoo. <laughs> they said like that, but yeah. everybody wants to get that cover mm -hmm. tattoo, like tattooed girl at the shop. Yeah. Nobody cares how good or bad you are. It's so wild just to get that money <laughs> in, yeah. They're just trying She's to giving make you a, a life picture. lesson here, Pony. <laughs> 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 we still have no girls at the shop. <laughs> I mean, like everybody was uh, making jokes uh, before they see what you can do. Yeah. But everybody trying to get some, like, you know, the pretty girl or something sure. to the to the show. Yeah, yeah. No, it's I like we a little sexy but the Right. That was that time, yeah. They tried to use you. Like of take course, photos yeah. of you or something. Yeah. Like oh, this. that's gross. What well, what <laughs> it is gross, really. You don't I feel mean, like you a narcissist, you feel like uh, I don't know, a piece of meat or yeah, something. Right, right, right. And uh, my Instagram started to growing like everybody was thinking that I am a model and I wasn't a model. And I stopped posting my pictures. I started posting more tattoos. So my algorithm and uh, Instagram followers will change so people can see that I'm an artist because I was so mad that people like, oh, you're so pretty. Right, right. You wanted to show me you could I'm do like, more than that. Seriously, just 
look at my art and I change it. Now, when I post pictures with me, my followers like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm changing too. <laughs> but they're like, nah. Yeah, but around, around that time, it was still prevalent in the, or present in the industry. Mm -hmm. I even remember when during my apprenticeship, like tattoo books. Mm -hmm. where like it's saying things about women like that oh yeah like oh women in the shop are meant to be decoration yeah and stuff like that That's like crazy. in the book mm -hmm. and then like you're learning from these people that have been tattooing 30 40 years so it's like that's just what it was when they started yeah you know and it, yeah obviously it grew past that but then there was also the phase of what you're talking about we can call it like the pretty girl phase mm -hmm. you know where it's like okay and then i feel like finally maybe after that um people started to realize that maybe girls were more comfortable in some situations getting tattooed by other women. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But yeah, I, I, I remember some of those faces. Mm -hmm. And like seeing some of those shops not only say that and go through that, but also to kind of what you were saying, maybe not allowing it at all. But to be honest, that time, it wasn't like making me sad. It was like this situation was making me mad and uh, made me um, want to grow more because yeah. I wasn't like, like oh, nobody like um, took me s seriously. I was thinking, okay, I'll show you what yeah, I can do. And like, I was mad. I was, yeah. I was like prepared to show them like, okay, we'll see you later. Yeah, we'll see if I follow yeah. your fucking rules. <laughs> 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 Saniderm to heal it. Where's my banner, bro? <laughs> Saniderm, what's up, dude? Sorry for <laughs> Saniderm, the best aftercare in the world. And take it from me, I'm a pro team member. Use code unemployable to get 20% off your Saniderm. I only use Saniderm, it's the best product out there. There's all these other products that just copied Saniderm. Get the real stuff. Tell him, Alex. You Sanitor. So you were on Ink Master? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the hesitation behind that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've been there. How, uh, what point in your career did that happen? <laughs> uh, that was three, four years ago, three years ago. Okay. Do you remember what season that was? Uh, it was season 12. Was that before COVID? Before, yeah, yeah. yes. Right before, probably 19th. And yeah. how did that ap opportunity uh, come to you? Um, they asked me to be part of Ink Master a long time ago. I wasn't sure that I can do that because uh, I wasn't um, be confident with my English. Yeah. So I said, no, sorry, I can't. And a few years later, they asked me again, and I was like, should I do this? Should I do this? And still, my English is not perfect. And it's going to be TV. And I have to talk with people. And people not going to let me talk. So I have to, like, scream at people in English. And something good. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, let's do this. Yeah, yeah, fuck <laughs> it. Yeah. So, yeah. And I ask Pony because um, one of uh, your artists, the girl... Uh, she, she, yes, yeah. uh, she was uh, an ink master, and then ask you, what do you think about ink master? Mm -hmm. And he said, it's not a good idea. You shouldn't <laughs> go there. And I'm like, I'm going. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, yeah uh, I'm back and forth rules. with it, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, the rules yeah, yeah. I, I, I can unfollow. <laughs> uh, tell us about the tattoo that sent you home. <laughs> 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 I said, tell us about the tattoo that sent you home. Uh, uh, okay, so. Um, they let us uh, to um, tattoo whatever we want. Yeah. But that was blind judging, bli blind critics. And um, I've got to. What does that mean? It's like uh, they see the work, the like judge, the tattoo, but they oh, don't okay. know who did it. Right. And they're, they're judging. <laughs> Damn, that thing sucks. <laughs> uh, doesn't sound like much. <laughs> Like a blind critic. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. You right. just gave me a whole fucking idea. <laughs> <laughs> Feels bloody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Scarred as shit. But you went too deep. Like, yeah. Oh, one of them 3D dads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> Smells infected. <laughs> um, so, and I got the girl, um, and of course I did the rose, red rose. Right. That was a classic. Uh, uh, I was known as an artist who does Classic red, pony wave. Red. <laughs> 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 No, just like, oh, that girl who only does red roses. <laughs> right, That's kind of thing. Right. Um, and I did the red rose. So they knew who did it. There was no blind critique. They were like, this is, we know where this rose judges came from. Judges didn't know. Oh. But they everybody know. else, of course, they <laughs> yeah, did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, judges didn't know. It's a reality show. It's not real life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Cam. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and the girl, I don't know if it wasn't set it up. Oh, it was really, really happened. So the girl started acting like she's a really huge pain. So I touched her like easily. And she was like, oh, I can't. And started crying. Wow. And uh, where on the body? Was, hmm? Where on the body was the tattoo? Right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, I started talk with her like uh, what we can do, like uh, so you can feel better, blah, blah, blah. And we're talking, talking, talking. And she. She said, I'll be back. She left like to the restroom and I was waiting for her. And she came back and said, I can't, I can't finish it. I mean, like I can't handle it. So uh, I'm leaving. And she said, you've been rude to me. You've been really aggressive. Right. I'm like, no, I haven't. I'll sit the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're that's, being what a whiny bitch. that's what I should do. <laughs> right. yeah. But I was like, okay, let's talk. Maybe blah, 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 blah. Trying to figure out. And then when she said, no, I'm leaving, I said, when it's over, just reach me out. I'll finish it. Okay. Right. And she was, when she was leaving, she was like turning to my side and said, like that. Oh my God. And left. Yeah. And I was, uh huh. Oh man! They would. Tr they probably wanted to see the uh, Russian bitch. Right. So me being Russian bitch, at that time, at that period of my life, I was too kind. I was trying to meditate all the time. I was trying to understand every person. But this is the reality show. You shouldn't be like that. You right. should like fight for yourself. And I was, I was too shy, probably. Sure. Yeah, and. Um, so after that, they, of course, um, choose me for uh, el elimination. Yeah. And then we did another tattoo. Um, and then, at that time, uh, some guys um, who was um, like saying to me, uh, not in front of the cameras, we have your back. Like, we are really waiting for you. Like, we really want you to win. We like you so much. Who, wait, who was saying this? Like, some guys. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't want to name names. Oh, no, no. I just was, yeah. Yeah, so, like, uh, from from my uh, uh, season, nice. the tattoo artist. Yeah. And when the ca cameras was on, they started to talk shit about my tattoo. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> and I was master. like, yeah. why did you say to me, like, I have your back? If you don't mean it, don't say it. Like, right. I don't care if you like me or hate me. I don't care. Just be honest. Right. And of course, I understand this is the game. And they came to me and said, this is just the show. This is just the game. We don't feel like that to, to you. I mean, we don't, we're not this kind of, like, people. And I was thinking, if you did that for extra TV minutes. Right. You so are what did you do, people. like, for the right. real, like, money, power or something like yeah. this? Are you sure you're not this kind of person? Yeah. No, 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 I was no, we're not. We promise. Cameras are on. <laughs> So I was a little mad, and then I just, uh, like, it's fine. It's right. Fine. And when I left, uh, so they uh, uh, said me go home. Um, and when I left, uh, I was worried, like, how they're going to film it, how they're going to show it, because I was so afraid uh, how people will see. Because the roses, this is what I do, and to be honest, this is the only what I really want to show yeah. other people, like what I can do the best from my side. And I didn't. So I was worried about that. But when the episode arrived, 
I seen so many support and comments from nice. people I haven't seen this season for a long time. I didn't watch it because I was uh, a lot of stress. Uh, Ink Master is really, really a strong experience. Uh, they show only about four percent of what really happening there. Right. It's really tough. So um, they could show anything. Right? Yeah, yeah. So that's scary. Yeah, um, but. I've seen some like so much support from people. Good. I felt like blessed. Yeah. Really, that was really important for me. Like people saying, "No, you should let her finish the rose," yeah. or like it's it, it was really helpful. And um, to be honest, even the ink master, not not really fun, and it's really really difficult and hard. Uh, if I would be back, I'd probably be more strong. And I, I would say, like, whatever I want to say and just fight for no myself. No rules. No rules, pony wave. What do you do? The yeah, Russian just... Uh, just. Would you do the Russian back? bitch? Or no? I think so. Nice. Yeah. yeah I would watch that. <laughs> 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 I'd be rooting for you. <laughs> no rules! <laughs> <laughs> How was the living situation there? Right now? No, no, no. I didn't oh. go there. Um, so all artists live in a loft all together. Uh, you can't leave the loft. So if you need to go to the gym, they just uh, put the bus. They uh, let you go to the gym. They took you back and you stay with all other artists. And um, you wake up around like 6 a.m., they put the microphone on you. Microphone stays for all day long. Wow. Uh, and it's always on. You're going to the bathroom, like covering. Like Crazy. This. Wow. Yeah. And um, it, they stop uh, filming around 1 a.m. They put out the microphone. Are you tired of using ink bottles that are spelled correctly? Do you find yourself texting during ad reads for companies? Well, I do, and that's why I use Allegory Black. Are you tired of your black arms looking blue? Do you suck at tattooing and you want to get better? Use Allegory Black. Allegory has normal black and ultra black. Just when you thought it couldn't get any darker, they put out ultra black. Use Allegory Ink. It's the best ink on the planet. Go to AllegoryInc.com and use discount code UNEMPLOYABLE for 20% off. I know, it's crazy. It's so much money. You really should pay full price, but we have a discount code. Right, Alex? That's right. Damn, that's tough. It is really tough. Are you happy you did it, though? Yes. Good. Yeah. So no regrets? No, I love challenging uh, challenges so much. So I, I would do this again. I just, uh, I would do this differently, for yeah. sure. Yeah, I wouldn't be so nice. Awesome. He would win. No. <laughs> yes. Just be a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just throw everybody else under no, the bus. I mean, the girl who won <laughs> this season, he's, she's really good. Who is yeah. that? Uh, the girl uh, who won our season. Yeah, she's who, really um, good. What was she's her name? Uh, I forgot. Uh, Laura Marie. <laughs> Laura Marie. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm. Nice. Yeah. She's amazing. Really. She's really talented. I... Now I really want to put Cam on Ink Master. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they reached out to me last year. What'd they say? One of the producers. I just left it on red. Yeah, I'm not. Practice. I'm nowhere near versatile enough for it. I can leave Dave and Marl on red. It wasn't Dave. <laughs> if it was Dave, I might have answered it. <laughs> I would have showed him the shirt Mark Longnecker gave me. Should we do that? Should we put him on? <laughs> I'd love to see that. Yeah, I think so, too. <laughs> I love I think it. we have to have it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just picked the picture of the Hunger Games, dude. <laughs> like, he, they get him. He goes on some train. Ponies <laughs> coaching him through it. You know? <laughs> From the Florida district. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be cool to just, like, meet somebody like your favorite artist that might be on the same season as you. Like one of my favorite artists is on like the current season right now. Who's it? Glendale Bully. 
Oh yeah, Bobby for Johnson. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah he might take it too. all. Huh? He probably will. Yeah, I've been. I haven't really watched any of the recent seasons except for this one. Yeah, yeah he's killing it. If yep. Cam was on it, <laughs> <laughs> you think it's become a better show? Yeah. The well, the new, the new, the new, uh, like the coaches, like the way they style it now, and like the critiquing. I think it's a little bit better. Yeah. I also think they have like better artists critiquing stuff. Like mm-hmm. DJ Tamby tells me I'm doing something wrong. I'm probably doing something wrong. You yeah. know? <laughs> like, uh, no, yeah, I definitely think they've like made the right steps to like try to improve you know they kind of got rid of the dave navarro image and all that stuff and just i think they're more geared towards tattooing now the drama's still there but i definitely i definitely think they give some of the artists more more leniency in the actual art and stuff i've definitely seen like cooler tattoos now you know yeah, yeah. it almost seems like it's less client more artists now nice. how were the critiques there when you were getting critiqued mm. You're standing for a whole day in front of the lights and judges. So some of the people can uh, lose consciousness because when you're standing like for a long time, all your blood goes down. And, like, and you just listen some stuff about your tattoo. Was it a lot of pressure? It's just... Um, you just never know what they're going to say. Yeah. Because you can be confident about your tattoo, but they always find something bad in it. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't confident in my tattoos, <laughs> to be honest, because right. some of them not really in my style and nothing like i good at. Uh, but some tattoos, I think they're good. Yeah. But it's always a surprise. Always. Like you never know what they're going to say. What was the biggest surprise on the show? Like something that really just you did not think was going to happen? As I said, uh, when people step to your back, like when people decided to, because there are no um, scripts, yeah. so artists act like they want to act. Right. So they do whatever they want and say whatever they want. And when people decide to act like a, as a as whole because they want extra TV time, yeah. it's just a little bit painful because they can say different things to your face and then turn right. back to you. Maybe it's uh, childish to react like that, that being mad or disappointed, maybe. But I always... Um, trying to stay human being. And right. I probably is my problem, but I always uh, waiting for the same from others. So they be more yeah. human. And they just like uh, turn on the showman and being total asshole. It's like a little painful. Right, it's fake. It's like to, I get that. Maybe, maybe the fake was behind the uh, cameras, and this is the real. Right. I don't know. You never know. Right. Because when when persons say one thing and then opposite, you don't know where is the truth. So right. you start to like or it could be mental health. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it could be bipolar. <laughs> Maybe they're not fake. It's Maybe always, it's just it's schizophrenia. Always, yeah, it <laughs> always can be like yeah. that. And I'm judging them. Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. And I'm being like, Nice, you're going to be great for the next <laughs> season. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys just like, I just was born like Popping that. more medication. My, my childhood, <laughs> I had a really tough time. <laughs> right, my meds aren't right. We're trying oh. to sort it out. And now I'm <laughs> being a Russian bitch. Yeah. <laughs> what you said was wrong. <laughs> yeah. No, that shit's tough to deal with. And, you know, I feel like we all deal with it in, you know, different experiences and si- situations. But I have little tolerance for that. Mm-hmm. Like if someone's, like, two-faced or, you mm-hmm. know, fake nice or fake me whatever it is Mm -hmm. you know what i mean not that like sometimes you for me i'd rather just because with traveling a lot and meeting new people it's like okay these are people that are in my industry that i have to work with Mm -hmm. so most of the time i'm just quiet and polite you know but it's always a treasure like when you meet someone that's genuine yeah you know you're like oh you're just this is who you are you're like this all the time you don't turn it on or off or change, 
you know, for this. And those are typically the people that like I'm attracted to mm -hmm. and that I want to like hang out with and like come visit yeah. the shop and, you know, but we all come in contact with those people. But if we can avoid it, it's best. Mm -hmm. But that's the nicest way I can put that. I always <laughs> prefer the rude truth than like sweet lie. Yeah. 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 I'm Russian. I can I can I can understand the smile when you don't mean it. Smile when you mean it. Yeah. <laughs> smile when you're happy. Right. Yeah, Cam. Why are you smiling? <laughs> Stop smiling. <laughs> <laughs> you said happy, not sweet. <laughs> Coming from the guy who hasn't smiled in years. <laughs> I smile all the time. Yeah, I know. Fuck with you. <laughs> I can just picture you on Ink Master, though, and you're just... Right. <laughs> yeah. I don't agree. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know how I'd respond on Ink Master. I feel like I made a decision a while ago that I wasn't going to do that. Because I didn't want to deal with those kind of people. Right. And it's like, of course they're going to be there. That's they're like going to be there, yeah. but this is not the majority. Right. The majority, they are really nice. I mean, like, there's, like, can be couple guys who, like, haha, I want a more TV time, and they start to do. But, yeah. again, other people, are they really nice. Like, like, you can find new friends there. I did. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, I don't know if I'd. I probably get canceled, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have no screen time because just everything Bro, you say. Microphone. Just could not. If they mic'd me for one day, I probably get <laughs> <laughs> They're not recording, right? All right, good. Let me shed some light on. Whatever. All right. Model Citizen used to be cool before Alex started wearing it. Are you tired of being unattracted to everyone around you? Well, not anymore. With the Model Citizen Apparel, you'll be beating them off with a stick. Finally, tattoo clothing that is actual quality, that I can wear around and feel good. For real though, the quality of these clothes is top notch. This is like nothing you've ever seen before with a tattoo company. This isn't some Gildan bullshit. These are quality hand-picked clothing. They have everything from vintage styles, oversized clothes, modern tees. Go to themodelcitizen.com. Get them before Alex does. Thank you guys for joining us on today's episode of Unemployable Podcast, Ponies. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> and we'll catch you guys next week.